Todd Preston is here from DA Davidson, and we're talking about this week's stock market news. We're starting off with yesterday. It looks like the market was mixed yesterday. It was, yeah. The, the S&P rallied it. It had broken out of a slump, but the, the Dow sold off. Uh, I think it's third straight sell-off. Dow was down 10. S&P was up 11. The NASDAQ was up 58. Uh, the, the Dow is set to have its best June since 1938, however, up roughly 6.9% depending on how we finish out today. Mm -hmm. S&P is looking at its best return since 1955. So um, as, as uncomfortable as June felt for most folks right. actually is a pretty strong performance and and one of the best on records the so. numbers prove otherwise that's right all right and let's talk about China now is China still a focus China's always the focus it <laughs> seems like you know right now the tariff war the concern is uh, are we going to see the additional 300 billion dollars in tariffs in place or are they going to work a deal out uh, China's leader and Trump are meeting prior to the G20 meeting uh, initially, there was great hope that uh, an, an indication that we might see a deal, although then his uh, advisor Kudlow came back and said, Let, you know, let's slow the train down. Um, we may reach a deal, but we may see the tariffs. And so what started out as, as very positive, uh, the air kind of got let out of a little bit. And so now um, we're just kind of eyes are on them. Still think that we'll see a deal. China still needs us more than we need them. And so I think uh, when all the blustering and, and positioning is done, we reach we reach something that that works for the U.S. All right. And looking at economic numbers, are those looking strong? They are actually. Yeah, we saw uh, first quarter GDP came in at 3.1 percent, which is very strong, very good number. Um, consumer spending and business spending wasn't quite as strong, but uh, they were still positive. And so the economic climate is is. Uh, is very good. Um, the economy seems to be doing very well, and so uh, we're heading into the dog days of summer. Although uh, Rob claims that summer is starting, so mm -hmm. hopefully we'll see it here. But uh, the dog days of summer on Wall Street means a lot of people uh, spend more time playing than they do worrying about their money, and so uh, the markets can get exaggerated one way or the other because there's if one side sells up to sell and the buyers don't show up, then we see a big sell-off. So Dog Days of Summer are usually interesting, but uh, we'll make it through. All right. Well, Todd, thank you so much for being here with us. We'll be back after this break.